Richard Southern joins us once again. Hey, Richard. So Canada's top doctor says the current two meter physical distancing guidelines won't be changing anytime soon. We heard Melissa earlier talk about it changing in Britain, uh, but it feels it seems like Canadians are OK with that. Stay away. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we've gotten used to it, right, Janella? Um, we, they had a big survey out today asking people kind of how they feel about that. And like the vast majority, 66%, said, yeah, I'm good with that two meter rule, which, as you say, is the current recommendation by the Canadian health authorities. Only 12% of people, Janella, said they would be comfortable with a smaller one and a half uh, meter distance. And uh, only 10% said they'd be good with one meter, which is the minimum recommended by the World Health Organization. Now, what if that uh, physical distancing rule were to change? Only 40% said they would feel comfortable dining, dining in a restaurant if this was reduced to one meter only. 28%, uh, only 28% would be comfortable going to a movie theater. And 24% would be comfortable going to a gym, only 21% comfortable going to a bar in the nightclub, Janela. Uh, further, this survey found that 43% believe the uh, believe we're still in the first wave and 74% are expecting a second wave. So, yeah, as you say, we're just asking everyone to keep their distance. But I don't know. I have ventured out a little bit lately, and most people don't. From what I can see, keep their distance, Janela. People are just going every which way, don't you think? I was going to say maybe they like the two meter because it ends up becoming one meter. So if you say one meter, it's going to end up only being half a meter. It's sometimes hard to have a conversation with someone who's that far away. You end up kind of inching in yeah. closer. Or, I guess it is yeah. tough to go. I mean, you, you look at the grocery store and, you know, how are you going to go down the aisle and pass someone and, and deal with, you know, someone when it's supposed to be two meters. So I know it's tough, but that's how you're going to squash the virus, right, is to try and... Try and stick to that as best you can. Yeah, okay. If you're having problems physically distancing, though, you can uh, buy this new product and uh, use it. It reminds you of a famous episode of Seinfeld. Yeah, I got the fix for you, Janelle. If you can't keep that two meters, I'm just going to put you in a, in a bubble, like the uh, the bubble Perfect. void. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the Italian, an Italian design studio creating this. It's called Bubble Shield, described as an inflatable personal environment designed for protecting people in public spaces. Uh, there is a top and bottom connected by a zipper. There's a solar panel on the top, and there's a battery pack in, in the back. There's an air compressor in there, and it actually purifies the air in your personal bubble, Janela. So, uh, I think I'm going to go buy one. <laughs> And people, but you certainly get a few looks walking down the street in that, Janela. That's for sure. All right, thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.